Hello my pinky pals. Welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new. My name is Alicia. You can call me pinky and today we are creating some super cute space doodles. I do every doodle prompt for this month's doodle list which you can find on my Instagram or my website or maybe the community tab. I don't know. It's kind of all over the place right now but who knows where. I do them all. Do I cheat? Ooh, yeah. But are they still like super epic? I mean, yeah, they're okay. Most of them are good. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's always going to be a dud once or twice. I will say there's actually really only one that I don't like, and I'm pretty sure you'll know it when you see it. But let's get into it with the first one being this super cute cat in space is the prompt. I just realized I should probably have those up. Now, I do want to point out here that there are repeats. Yes, like I said in the beginning I cheated, so don't be all on me now because I warned you. Um, but there are some repeat, repeats. I mean, there's a tons. I put stars on everything. So yeah, stars is a repeat. Um, like just in general, there's some repeats. I think it's just stars. I don't know. Anyway, first one is cat in space. I thought this turned out really cute. I love the idea of like cutting the holes in the little um, like space helmet, which makes it super effective, super effective, <laughs> but I thought it was cute. I even played with some transparency, <clears throat> didn't like it, but I played with it and that's the main thing, right? But I also just couldn't kind of figure out the way I wanted it to look otherwise, so I just left it as it was. I skipped over most of the sketching in almost everything, I think. It just, like, I this is like crazy sped up and it still would have been way more if I hadn't cut out a lot of the sketching. So I'm sorry if you really like to see that part. Maybe I can, you know, if, if people are just dying to see me sketch, there was only a couple that I actually sketched anyway. The more complex ones, I can always share it maybe on my Patreon or something. I really wanted to go for the lineless style. Again, I know I'm crazy, but I wanted to give it a go. I really love doing it. So I just I just wanted to do it, you know? So I did. Go figure. I wanted to do it, so I did it. Uh, so I did. And I think it turned out pretty good. I actually, I think, when I tried before, I think I tried to get, like, uber textured. And I don't know if that's needed. I, I just really like the way it turned out. I think it looks really good. I wish that I had like maybe like a water paper cult like texture, which I do have. I'm going to see if I can try to get it to work, but for now, right now it doesn't. Uh, oh yeah, for pen or for the pens that I'm using or the brushes that I'm using. Sorry. I know that somebody's going to ask. I use actually all of these are made just using my own brush pack. So there's three, three, uh, brushes in it and I used all three of them. I used one to do my like my lettering and then the one <laughs> the, the one that's supposed to be for sketching I used for everything and then I also used a I, I have like a stamp brush that has actually you're seeing it whenever you, I draw the the stars for the little kit and it's just dots. It's just random sized dots because I find I actually use that a lot, which is weird, but I do. So that's what I did. Next up, it is the, what is it? Um, dog in space? The dog in space. I thought this was so freaking cute. So, I mean, yeah, it's adorable. So I... I don't know. I just, I did like a bean shape for the cat and I did like a hot dog. I don't know. I don't know what kind of a shape this is. This is not like a normal dog kind of a shape, but I thought it was really cute. So I went with it. I used again, the same brush. I just followed the sketch and then I painted on top. I used clipping mask and I think this one turned out really cute. I think Hmm, it's hard to say. This one or the last one that I do might be my favorite. It's hard, it's really hard to say. I also will say, like, I had a hard time with some of them because there's certain things that are very similar. Like, 
a asteroid and a like well shooting star but like um a comet they're all kind of similar but different obviously if you're if you're a space nut you'll be like those are completely different things but like they kind of have when you're doing a doodly kind of format they have kind of very similar shapes so i did those uh, i did my best to try and keep those different same with like supernova and vortex galaxy those all kind of have a very similar kind of look to them as well so I did a Mabayastokai. I also went for speed, not, well, actually, I tried to go for speed, <laughs> not like, you know, goodness. That's a word. That's the technical term for when art is good. I just wanted to get them done, and I wanted to do them all in one sitting, or at least hit them all. I didn't do 30, what is it, 31? 30? 30, 31? I don't know. How many days are in July? 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. So 31. <laughs> wow. I'm an adult. Um, <laughs> I didn't do them all. I didn't do 31 drawings. But like when I'm doing, say, like all of the planets, I'm going to do the solar system. I'm sorry. I'm going to just knock them all out in one go, which I believe is what's up next because I did the sun. <clears throat> the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, all of them, and technically, I guess, maybe stars, all are done in one go. And as a bonus, and not everybody gets this, but you guys are special. As a bonus, I also threw in Pluto. You're welcome, you're welcome. I am completely, like, just raring to go here. I'm going on vacation, and I don't know. <laughs> it's like a Friday, and I'm just ready and raring to go so on this one actually sadly enough i'll be on my way home from vacation when this video goes live but trust me i will have had a good time so yeah i mean i wasn't going to do a galaxy and then not just do them all and that gets counted it's just the way it is it's just the way it is i i don't care you know fight me on it it's the way it is fight me in the comments use your words so, yeah, whole bunch used in one go. Smash that out like nobody's business. And I love these because I think they're all so cute. Little Jupiter's a chunker. And then, of course, Pluto is like, mm, I'm sad because I'm no longer a planet. I don't know why, but I just think Pluto sounds like an old lady. I also, here's my thing. So I'm wondering, like, whatever happened to Uranus's rings? I always thought they had rings. And then... I was looking at pictures and there was never rings. So I was like, I guess they don't get rings anymore. Maybe they got divorced. I don't know. Also, have you ever noticed that there's like two people? There's like people that say Uranus and then people who are Sailor Moon fans. Speaking of the moon, I did add at the, at the very end. Blah, 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 I can't speak. I added the moon right there in the end. You might not have seen it because of the transition, but trust me, it was there. It was there. Trust me. Next is the Milky Way. I went super original on this and made it like real milk. Huh? And then put some chocolate chip cookies in there. I know. I'm like mind blowing at my imagination. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so, well, I guess hmm, I'm like, I don't know why I'm so sarcastic. It's because I actually am. I feel like my true, like my true personality is starting to come out on these videos. And I think that's probably not a good thing, but it's too late now because I've already recorded most of this and I'm not going back. It just is what it is, people. I did a very basic, just, I mean, like I said, I was going for speed. So the first idea that came to mind, that went to paper. First idea, paper. Idea, paper. That's just, that's just the way it went. Completely and totally. So that's what we got. Next was Supernova, which is just an angry planet that like gets really mad and just explodes. So that's what I drew <laughs> because I could, and I couldn't think of anything. I was just like, it's just one big explosion. So I'm like, instead of like one mushroom cloud, it would just be all mushroom clouds. So it would just be like a patroom all over the place. So that's what I did. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't even know. I, I'm going off of my brain power here. Like, I used my noodle, and I did not actually look up anything. It, supernova could be... Like, Supernova could be who knows what. 
I'm not going to lie. So when I say that it's like a planet or a star or something that just like exploded, I think it's a star that exploded, please do not like, you know, use that as fact. That's all I'm saying. Disclaimer there. I don't know what I'm talking about. Next was rocket ship. I've done rocket ship before. I actually have a rocket ship tutorial on my website, potentially now. I don't know. Anyway, it's it's a oldie but a goodie, I guess. Well, it's, it's okay. It's an oldie. <laughs> uh, but I am kind of like revamping the site and stuff. So it is coming out as part of the like space theme. So yeah, Saturn, or not Saturn, bleh. Rocket ship is next. So I had to come up with a new way of making it, and I really didn't. But there you go. I think the coloring's better. I like it better. So uh, there we go. And then, of course, I did some more stars because there's stars abundant here. It's space. What else am I going to put? Next up is, well, okay, on the list, look. On the list is astronaut. But in my defense, I have done nothing but astronauts. So this one is an astronaut, but also it's a monkey in space. Get it? See, I was, see, I was telling you that some of them are duplicated, and that's just the way it is. So monkey in space, and because he's so ashamed of the fact that I'm using him as monkey in space and also astronaut, he's just, he's hiding away. Like he's so just, you know, it's like cringe for the poor guy. So what can you do? That's Monkey in Space, which is pretty, I don't know. I thought he looked cute, actually. I liked him. I thought it was cute. And I liked the way his little, like, feet come up and the way his little tail was there. I mean, they're all pretty similar with the, the theme there. But I thought it was cute. And I really do think I'm getting better as I go with, like, the shading on the inside of the animal. For, like, because you can't do lines on everything, but you know what I mean? I'm trying to do lineless, but you still have to differentiate so I think I'm getting better at that and I added a little belly button which I think is adorable and then what happened oh some more stars my husband called but you didn't see that and next is alien I had no idea what to do for this so I just made a square a rectangle I guess rounded rectangle yeah and then I was kind of like and then I just wung it I wung it good wanged it winged it anyway I yeah I just played around and I was like green and pink revolutionary so that's what I did and then I was like you know what some aliens probably have is just one eyeball so that's what I did and then I also gave it a little tooth and I don't know why but I, I imagine thinking this was like on the aliens planet I kind of thought that just it was like Elvis like if that alien planet had an Elvis it would be that alien right there so next is black hole i think yeah black hole i didn't really know how to do this one so i kind of just like i'm like okay a black hole just sucks everything in and it's just like it's all around and it's just kind of chaosy and there's different colors and i don't know part of it is really just the black background and it's just like being slurped all together and you have to use some imagination on that one I think it's a bit abstract maybe I don't know next is alien spaceship and I I don't know I was like you know what like if I was an alien I'd ride I'd ride around in a giant mushroom I don't know why I thought that but it hadn't been it'd been a while since I'd drawn a mushroom okay and I was kind of jonesing and I just wanted to draw a mushroom so I did and I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't want to hear about the size or the shape or anything like that. I just want to enjoy the fact that it's a cute little mushroom spaceship. Okay? Okay. I even drew the little alien inside the spaceship waving. So that's like double. That's like extra credit, I think, is what that is. I'm making up the rules. So you know what? Yeah, it is extra credit. You're welcome. And <laughs> I'm so shassy. Uh, I did another little fire out the. I don't know what the fire out, like at the bottom of it's called. That rocket fire? Anyway, next is the comet. I've done a comet as well. I did one last year. I thought it was adorable. I don't know that everyone else did. I, I don't remember if it got a lot of likes. It doesn't matter because I loved it. So I'm doing another one. 
and I'm like, how do I make it look different? And by the time I was done with this, I realized I didn't really like it, but I wasn't like, I was not redoing anything. I had to get it done and like, I was trying to be quick. And at the end, it kind of just looks like a like comet ghost to me, if that makes sense. And then I thought, I'll just give it the same face that the other one had and it'll be cute, right? It, it didn't, it wasn't, I don't know. See, I did this like line art. Do I keep that line? I can't remember. Mm, I don't remember what it looks like now. I guess I did keep it. I, yeah, to me it looks like it's like the ghost of a comet. Next is the Vortex. Again, I, like I said, these ones all kind of seem similar to me. I think that this is just kind of like things spiraling around. I don't know. I just thought of a Vortex the way it is in like math and stuff and that's what I did and I hope it kind of looks good but it might not look good if nothing else I think the colors are pretty I really like the like greeny blues they're kind of my vibe I think they're really pretty so that's what I used and yeah that's all I did I think I just copied it like two rows of it and I thought I was, by the time I was done I was pretty impressed with what I thought of so there we go. Oh, there was a moment there where I, like, did not do a new layer, which, do as I say, not as I do, create new layers. And that's pretty much it. Give it a cute face. And I'm like, that's a vortex, people. Next is asteroids. So I'm pretty sure that asteroids are the things that will, like, kill us. And comets are the, like, things with the tails. I think. I'm pretty sure asteroid equals Armageddon. The... Comets are little things with tails, I think. So if I mix those two up, I'm sorry. But I thought this was cute. Either way, I was thinking like meteor shower. And then I was like asteroid and a meteor. I think that's the same thing. I don't really know. Again, this is not science hour. This is doodling. So I just created them and I thought they were cute. And that big one with that face. Oh my gosh. I thought that was the cutest thing I've ever seen. And that was literally it. I went like super easy on that one asteroid after that would be shooting star and uh, again I dug out my imagination cap and I was like you know what I bet you no one would ever thought of this and drawn a star with a little like shooting rainbow thing out of its patoot just just pink and yellow just cuz I thought nobody would ever think of that it's like a little star with this little cape and it's just living its best life. Next is Galaxy. Which, again, like, I mean, I feel like I already did that. Well, because I did, like, our Galaxy. But I did it again anyway. Again, this is a bonus. You're welcome. I did a lot of, like, <laughs> I don't know. They're not even really, like, I don't know what they are. Look, I don't know. But either way, there are a lot of, like, little blobby things in the middle of swirly stuff. So, it is what it is. But I think it looked pretty good. I got the idea across. It's kind of like a different, like, view of it, I guess. I don't know. Like, you don't want too much from me, right, guys? Next is stargazing. And, okay, so, look. Okay, look. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say that up front. I had this vision in my brain. And then it would not come onto paper. And I couldn't think of what to do, but I was like, I have this idea and I just think it'd be so cute to have like this star, like kind of like lounging and just staring at his beloved. And then I did it and I was like, oh my God, this is the only thing I've ever seen. And now I just realized something. Yeah, now I just thought of something that would have actually made this a million times better and a million times cuter. Oh, if only I had the time to redo it. Maybe I'll, I'll, you know what, I'll write it down and I'll do it later. Well, no, that's a lie. I'll write it down. I can't say I'll, I can't say I'll do it later. But either way, good intentions, bad art. Next is a telescope, which actually this is kind of also stargazing. Hmm. No, I won't go any race the other one because you know what? Sometimes you just got to make bad art. So this one, I just thought, I thought this was clever. I don't know. I thought this was clever. Having like a big old telescope and it pointing down on Earth and Earth is out there looking like, hello, anybody out there? That's what I had in mind anyway. Next was bunny in space, a little bun bun. I've been doing the exact same thing with like a little like 
animal with the little thing, the little hat. So in, that, in this case, I made it a helmet. But now it just looks like they're wearing a hat. So that's that. But I still think it's really cute. And I think she came out loverly. And yeah, I don't know why I put a bow on it. Like that makes it look so much more like a little bonnet instead of like those aren't supposed to be cute little like berries or something. Those are meant to be buttons. So, I mean, is the bunny adorable? Yeah. Would you be able to say that bunny's in space? Probably not, but it's adorable. So, yeah. Next is Frog in Space, which might be, I mean, this one is also one of my faves. I think this is really cute. He's just like sitting there, just enjoying, chilling, and, you know, hanging out in his little, his little spaceship like you do when you're in space. I assume, I don't know. Uh, but I think he's cute. I think he's really cute. I think the, the, the look of him came out really well. I don't really have anything to say about him. I just like him. And I was given the chance to draw a frog, so I'm always happy with that. And... Yeah. I think he turned out good. You guys are going to have to let me, which, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. I will be sharing them throughout the month on my Instagram as well, in case you want to actually see like a picture of it instead of a quickie look. But yeah, you'll have to let me know. Because you know what? The frog might be close for me. It might be close to number one. It's not. But it might be close. Definitely the animals in space. That kind of theme is definitely cuter, I think, by far, than most of the other ones. I like, even though they're all essentially the same, they all look the same. Or like, they aren't, they're pretty basic, I'll say. It's not like I stretched my big old brain for much more than what I did. But I still think that they're just cuter overall. So, well, I mean, the telescope's pretty good. But I think they're just cuter overall. And so I do like them better. I don't want to say what the last one is, but if you've been on my Instagram, you know. So it's not like it's a huge secret, but I just want to hold out because this one's the cutest one. It's a duck in space. You guys know how much I love my ducks. So I did a little mallard, and I think this one's adorable. He's, like, all, like, leaning back, chill in his little spaceship, and he's all, like, got his little helmet on, and, oh, my God, he's just, like, creme de la creme. I'm not even, like, I am not even, not even kidding, guys. I think he's really cute. And I did this without a sketch, which I also found to be kind of amazing for myself. So yay on that one again well i mean i sketched out ideas in my in my sketchbook but in my defense i am you know heavily medicated as a lot of you guys know because of pain um and i forgot my sketchbook somewhere i don't quite know where but somewhere so it's not like i had it there it wasn't helping that much anyway and i'd done it like a month before so maybe that's even more cheating i don't know Either way, I think this turned out cute. And I love him. And I call him Harvey, which I just came up with that now. But it just feels right. You know, it just feels right. It looks like he's wearing a bowler hat. Or like using an old bowler hat as a... Do you guys know what that is? Is that a thing? I, I'm feeling like it's a thing. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not trusting my own noodle. I think it's the thing. Anyway, it looks like that's what he's wearing, only it's a little bit mechanical. And I just, I don't know, I'm really enjoying just doing a quick sketch, quick doodle, lineless, easy peasy, lemon squeeze it, you know. And again, more stars. Another bonus. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, I would love to get a donation as a subscription. Get a little, get a little subscribe there. And I would really appreciate it. <laughs> and otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.